The terrifying reality of saying no to a narcissist. Don't let this happen to you. Narcissists are not nice people. They enter our lives to take everything that we care about and destroy it. They are exceptionally good at tricking us into thinking that they care about us. But in reality, they only want to hurt us. The more time we spend with a narcissist, the worse we feel. They are like a black hole that sucks us in and crushes us. We may not realize what's happening at first, but eventually we start to feel extremely unhappy. We don't need to listen for specific words or phrases or look for signs of a problem. If we're around a narcissist and start to feel unhappy, as if all the joy has been taken away, it's because the narcissist is taking it away. One thing we can do is try to protect ourselves. We can try to avoid the narcissist as much as possible. And when we do have to be around them, we can try to stay positive and not let them get us down. Sometimes, narcissists act the way they do because they are miserable themselves. If we try to help them feel better, they might stop trying to hurt us. They are constantly searching for what they desire and the people who can give it to them. People who seek wealth, status and influence will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. They play the role of good people or even victims to gain our trust. Then our trust is gradually betrayed over time. They'd want nothing more than to make us petrified of standing up to them. They'll resort to any means necessary to persuade us to do their bidding. Narcissists are the kind of people that want to be the center of attention even when they're around their closest friends. That's why narcissists, whether at home, in the workplace, or among friends and acquaintances, always try to draw attention to themselves in ways that highlight their unique qualities. Individuals in a group will often want to familiarize themselves with those in positions of authority. They may try to mimic your best features and pretend to share your core beliefs while dating you. The narcissist, however, isn't interested in a fair fight. Their primary objective is to gain or maintain a position of authority over another person. In my experience, narcissists are equally attracted to and able to take advantage of those in positions of power, as well as those in positions of weakness. Those who are unfamiliar with violent relationships or have never been in one are often the first to crumble. The narcissist observes everyone around them, and their original intent does not change when they are inside. They start plotting how to force you to comply with their standards, launching an attack, and doing whatever it takes to get rid of you. These events may occur sequentially or simultaneously, but they will happen for sure. The narcissist's top priority is amassing as much power as possible for themselves. One of the first things a narcissist considers when they are interested in getting to know you is who you know. Self-centered narcissists can destroy any kind of friendship or family bond they get their hands on. The point of arguing against anyone you consider a friend or family member is to prove that they are the only ones you can trust. Creating distrust in those who are too close to you can drive others away from you. The narcissist craves approval from others, so no one will aid you when a narcissist exploits you. They only want to chat with you. Self-esteem is the target of the second assault. The narcissist watches your every move and forms an opinion based on it. It always comes as a shock when a narcissist can switch from making you feel good about yourself to making you feel horrible about yourself. Their ability to do so convincingly shows that their criticisms and devaluations must also have some truth to them, even if they abruptly change their behavior and do the opposite. They judge you not just on what you say, but also on how you act and look. Eventually, you start to question whether or not what you're experiencing is actually happening. They will convince you to believe things that aren't true to make you doubt your sanity and talents. They will stare at you impolitely or humiliate you it's easy for them to become frustrated or angry with you. They won't do anything to make you feel better and will actively work against you. They will ignore anything you have to say. This will force you to question your own intelligence, attractiveness, and value. If nothing else succeeds, the narcissist may resort to harming your mental health. As soon as you entered their company, they began berating you for being a self-deprecating narcissist who was responsible for destroying friendships and provoking unwanted stares. This is where they have been focusing their efforts. The mental and physical demands of these pursuits are high. Being with narcissists can be extremely toxic and unpleasant. A narcissist can be pleasant one day, distant, angry, and withdrawn the next. 
they may withdraw their attention or cease communicating with you on other occasions. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to their transformation from angel to devil over the span of a few hours. In an instant, they might switch from feeling cheerful to feeling unhappy. Avoiding offending the narcissist and avoiding conflict with them can be mentally tiring. Few individuals are unaffected by what narcissists do. They must be testing us to determine if we're any good. Long-term exposure to such stress can impair cognitive functioning. It's also possible for mental stress to manifest physically. When you're under pressure, it's more difficult to keep your cool and make sound judgments, both of which increase your susceptibility to manipulation. This is all part of the narcissist's master plan to break you down so that they can dominate you. In this case, the mind is more important than the body. The narcissist is keenly attentive to your words. When your consciousness is compromised, they will have full power over you. Not only is this impossible without first developing complete faith in the narcissist, but it's also impossible for the narcissist to do any of these things. The whole thing was an elaborate ploy on their part to win our favor, and it seems that this was their true motivation. They exert a lot of effort to convince us that they are the ones to turn to in times of need, or that they are decent individuals we can rely on in the real world. They intend to harm us by convincing us that a false image is real as soon as they have us in their possession. Narcissists are desperate for your attention. They are concerned about how you are doing. This is why I will never recommend negotiating with them. No matter what you give the narcissist, they will never be content. They do not appreciate the efforts made on their behalf. Such people only care about themselves, so they will continue spreading rumors and false information about you. To avoid getting poisoned yourself, it's wise to maintain some space when meeting someone with a very toxic personality. The least bad option is for them to be completely unfamiliar with you. Bringing this person into contact with your close circle of friends and family is out of the question. It's also important to know the narcissist's relatives and friends. More needs to be done to ensure the health of ourselves and others. A narcissist will try to destroy you by chipping away at your connections with others, your sense of value, and your self-assurance. I hope this information has been helpful to you. As a way of saying thank you, I appreciate the time you took to watch and, more importantly, to listen to what I had to say. Please feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. To ensure that you don't miss any new videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you very much. So now we know that narcissists are not nice people. They enter our lives to take everything you care about and destroy it. They pretend to care about us, but in reality, they only want to hurt us. They are constantly searching for what they desire and will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. They want to be the center of attention even when they are around their closest friends. One of the first things a narcissist considers when they are interested in getting to know you is who you know. The narcissist craves approval from others so they try to create distrust in those who are close to you to drive others away from you. When we are around a narcissist and start to feel unhappy, as if all the joy has been taken away, it's because the narcissist is taking it away. Sometimes narcissists act the way they do because they are miserable themselves. We can try to avoid the narcissist as much as possible and when we do have to be around them, we can try to stay positive and not let them get us down. If we try to help them feel better, they might stop trying to hurt us. However, being with narcissists can be extremely toxic and unpleasant. Narcissists can be pleasant one day, distant, angry, and withdrawn the next. They may withdraw their attention or cease communicating with you on the other occasion. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to their transformation from angel to devil over the span of a few hours. Avoiding offending the narcissist and avoiding conflict with them can be mentally tiring. Long term exposure to such stress can impair cognitive function. It's also possible for mental stress to manifest physically. When you are under pressure, it's more difficult to keep you cool and make sound judgments, both of which increase your susceptibility to manipulation. The narcissist wants to break it down so that they can gain or maintain a position of authority over you. They will try to force you to comply with their standards, launch an attack, and do whatever it takes to get rid of you. They will convince you to believe things that aren't true, 
to make you doubt your sanity and talent. They will stare at you impolitely or humiliate you. It's easy for them to become frustrated or angry with you. And they will do anything to make you feel better and will actively work against you. They will ignore anything you have to say. And this will force you to question your own intelligence, attractiveness and value. If nothing else succeeds, the narcissist may resort to harming your mental health. Please share your thoughts and experiences about this topic in the comment section below. Really, your presence here is really appreciated. Thank you for watching this video.